All right, guys, so in this video, I'm gonna share with you something pretty cool and very colorful at that. It is called the color picker. If you are in the need for having something that is super easy to implement as far as color picker goes in your application, make sure you watch this video because I'm gonna share with you something that is gonna truly revolutionize the way you think about color picker and it's extremely easy to implement. So for example, we have this color picker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh the screen and we could just click in here. And then we have the palace that are pre configured. And on the right hand side, we can have different colors that we can pick and choose. So let's say if I move around, I can pick any one. And if I want to make it lighter, I can make it lighter. If I want to make a different one, far as the color goes up and down and as you notice you probably noticed it as if i change this anything in here the number changes accordingly and you can see the preview right here so if i want to click on this like that is already predefined all i do is click on this 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 and click out of it if i want to click out of it it will just set that to be that or if i want i could just click here just show you that it actually does work Click here, go out of it, and there it is. And then this is the value that you can literally save in your uh, database or anywhere in your application later on so that you can use it for whatever reason. And then just show you that this particular value, you have a jQuery event in which it gets the value of this. So here it is, that's that. And it's extremely easy. How cool is that, right? So let me show you the code behind scene. And then what we will do is we'll customize it a little more just so if in case, if you have the need for it, you will be able to implement that particular customization in your project. So here we go. So the simple basic code is you need these two line of code. And don't worry, as always, I will leave it link in the description for you to get these two line of code so that way you could just go and implement it and then i have this container and in here is the actual input box so let me make that a little bigger i guess so here's this here's this and so there it is uh maybe right there i guess a little more smaller it's much smaller all right, so this is my box right here, and this is the input box. So this thing right over here is the input box. If I click on it, it will come up here and show you. And then this is this, and then underneath it is just a button, and then the post message, which will show you the message. And then if you want to implement this, all you really do is I use jQuery. If those of you who already know how much I absolutely love jQuery. And if you are new and you want to learn and master how to use jQuery like a pro, there's going to be a link in the description in which you can just click on it and take the course. And now what happens is this is how you initiate the whole color picker literally so this is the jquery it, they're using so this is the class that i'm using to identify the input button or input field i guess you can call it and then whatever you want you put right here and then initialize it by suck this particular word and that this component and it's literally one lot of code and you have this nice predefined color picker that is very easy to implement it. And then to show you that I'm actually whatever value that you see on right over here, you can get it. I'm using a jQuery event call uh, on click event. So in other words, anytime someone clicks on this button, this will fire it up. And in here I'm saying, hey, go to this particular field and get the value out of it and put it into this post message html which is right over here so show you let's do this again let's refresh it so we have here we go on and click on this actually let's just make it a really weird looking color uh bright yellow right so you can either click on choose or click out of it either one will accept that particular one so here it is so if i click on this and there it is so this is the value i guess even here so now this is very simple easy to do and implement it into your thing. But if you want more customization, you can go to this URL 
in which I will leave it in the description. And here you can do further configuration. So right now I have where it shows you the text as well as the color picker. If you just want the color picker itself, you could just click on this and you will notice the type over here. It changed from component to just color. And then automatically your uh, input box will change accordingly as well. So let's say if you just want the text and nothing else. So someone clicks on this, that we get this. If you want flat, which means it's just gonna show you this and then you have to figure out how you got it. I don't recommend this. What I would suggest either you use this or combination of two, this right here. And then also what they will do is you can click this component uh, palette part of it, which means it will only show you. So let's just do this. So we go over here. So we click out of this and then now you will only see the color picker itself and not the predefined palette. But if you do want to show it, you could just click on this and it will show it for you. And then if you want to hide it, which means only click on this to click uh, show this only on demand, you can click on this and then you have this component that you could add in here, which means if I click on this, so uh, let's say why well, didn't go. So let's say toggle. Uh, let me click out of there. So this is the toggle button, actually, not the hide button. So what the hide button does is well, as soon as you click on something, anything, and then it hides it away. So not necessarily the best thing because by default, it already does that. So toggle color picker, uh, toggle picker button. If you click on it and enable it, what that will do is it will allow you to customize it where you can only see the palette. Or if you want to see more, you can click this, which is kind of neat features, not that great, if you will. I would just leave it alone. And then we have some other options here, which means that show input. And not really sure what that does, but if you do without it, it looks the same to me. I don't know about that, but all right. So, so initial color you could set it as opposed to whatever color you want but i don't recommend it so basically if i were you i would just only mess with this so it should be the text color or the combination of two if you want the text you could have the text which doesn't seem very appealing to the user so users if you are using your application they are going to care about this and then when they click on this just use this so in short these uh, this one line of code, if you just combine it together, that's all you need to get this color picker in your application. Hope this video was helpful. If you really found this helpful and if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you click on the subscribe button so that way you get the latest and greatest videos that I put out that help you take your web development project to the next level. And also, uh, I'm going to be putting this link somewhere in this video right now in which you can just go to it by going to codewithmark.com forward slash gift in which you can download this really cool thing that I have made for you. That's going to help you take your web development project to the next level. All right. Until next time, happy coding.